Hey there, beautiful soul, and thank you so much for joining me here for this energy update for April 2021. First of all, I want to let you know that I did record a different video. It's our my pre-show video to this one. It's where I pulled a few cards to just get some uh, general uh, energy information. It's about an hour long, and I invite you to take a look at that if you want to dive deeper into this energy update. In this video, I'm going to go over the overall energies that you can expect for the month of April. Going to talk a little bit about the stargate and what that means and then we're going to get an oracle card from the dragon fey oracle and lastly we're going to be doing a channeled guided astral meditation for this uh month for the month of april so whatever may come um whenever i do a guided astral meditation it's always channeled so I am not the architect of them. I do not write them out. I am just told when uh, we're going to be doing them. And I show up just like you and open up and see what happens. Uh, typically though, we have Gaia who's calling the shots um, and taking us to wherever she needs to take us and giving us whatever information, channeled information. But I do also uh, ch uh, channel um, basically any divine being of the light, anybody from the high council, uh, ascended masters, archangels, and the like. And of course, I'm also a, a, a channel and a medium for those who, um, for people you know private people as well so okay um if you are unfamiliar with me let's start there i am infinity and i am a shaman mystic natural born energy healer psychic physical empath uh and ascension and soul guide and distance energy healer and um i work worldwide since everything that I do and way before the pandemic was done over video conferencing for the most part, I have clients worldwide. I work with people, children, and animals uh, to el eliminate pain, negative energy, to align energy, to get you uh, in in greater contact and awareness of your spirit uh, guides your tribe and especially you connected with your soul aside from that i get channeled information i have um, articles stories ebooks on my website i offer a ton of services on my website so please check that out it's thehealingbutterfly.org uh, i also have a podcast and i'm also a divinely guided artist so i'm an artist as well if you're new to my channel you'll find energy updates guided astral meditations tarot and oracle readings and i will be sharing more of my art as we go forward um, because I am really being pushed to focus in on my art and I'm an, um, a pencil artist and a and a watercolor painter and aside from stuff that I do digitally and combining them um, I like a lot of mixed media stuff so I also combine them and I'll be sharing that as well so anyway that's a bit about me again please go to my website subscribe to my website subscribe to this channel if you think I'm somebody who you want to watch on a regular basis with these with the videos that I put out okay so let's get into April 2021 and um, first of all the energies coming in is really about balancing out our divine masculine divine feminine energies and it's more about a blending it's not about tapping into these energies at this time and tapping into these energies at this time it's about having a good balance and a blending of those energies so that's definitely something that it that came up um and it is that as well as i guess that the overall theme what i should start with here actually is that it was 
when I tapped in a couple days ago from the 30th to the 31st into, okay, what's going on with these energies as we're getting into the new month portal, we have like this one day portal between the last day of the month and the beginning and the first day of the month, which is today. Today is the first day of April. Um, and we'll feel that um, depending on who you are and how tapped in you are, or whatever, you'll feel that energetically in different ways up to two, three days before the end of the month. Two, three days before the end of this month, um, we had our full moon on the 28th, just on Sunday. So it's there's been a lot of energies ramping up to the beginning of this month, to the first, and through into the Stargate. But anyhow, when... I tapped in the other um, the other day. It was the one thing that came through was worlds collide, <laughs> and I mentioned this on a couple of the uh, the zodiac tarot and oracle reads that I have done so far. I've done four. So, if you are Aries, Taurus, uh, Gemini, or Cancer, your videos are up on my channel. Um, they're the April twenty twenty one. Uh, Tara and Oracle reads. Uh, the other, the other eight are going to be done and put up after I finish this one. So in the next twenty four hours, you'll have those videos as well, and they are for. Um, so check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising for those. So interchange that that those messages as you are guided. Okay, so back to worlds collide. So. It was worlds collide. And what I saw was literally like this blending of like two universes coming together, the, the blending of energies. And, um, and I thought that was really, really interesting. I was like, okay, it feels like there's a lot of divine union coming up. And I did get in the pre-show, if you watch that video, I got the, we got the union card from the uh, Dreams of Gaia Tarot. So no surprise there. We also got the Three of Cups. And uh, these are beautiful cards. Um, and then we got the uh, King of Earth. And I love this card too. And then we got this, whoopsie, and then we got the star. Um, and what was really interesting about the uh, the three of Earth and the and the King of Earth was that they both talked about taking time to uh, to like to take stock and inventory is into as far as where you've come, what you've grown from, what you've uh, overcome, what you've learned, how you evolved, what projects you've you're working on that are that are. I'm feeling really good, your motivation, just all of this stuff, just really take stock in where you are, in how far you've, you have come and what you, what you've accomplished so far. So those, so it was really interesting. If you watch that video, you'll see it's like both of them talked about that. And then Union talked about balancing out the divine masculine and feminine. Um, and and but the overall theme there's like two two themes it's like worlds collide divine union and or maybe three and uh the 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 stargate there's always a theme or what what about the stargate and quick overview stargates happen every single month they're 10 days long they start on like the one one the two two three three four four five five six six seven 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 eight eight nine nine ten ten and then 12 12 is our last stargate of the year and it goes for 10 days and then we have a landing day like the 11th day is our landing day so the stargates four four this stargate the theme of it is spirit guides especially your angelics it's connecting with your angelics your guardian angel most specifically so whatever your relationship is with your guardian angel if you could really think about connecting even more opening a dialogue with them um, start off your day every single day before you s look at your phone or get up or go pee or take the dog out or anything. Just um, be guided to connect. Like you would say good morning to anybody else. Like 
so good morning to your guardian angel because they're always there with you um and before you go to sleep at night good night thank you for being with me thank you for guiding me today you know talk about your day with your guardian angel the more you <sighs> extend yourself the more you open up yourself to your guardian angel the easier it is to receive information, to be guided, to see the synchronicities, to to have those moments of magic, to see the angel numbers and all of those things, the little breadcrumbs that, that we're given all day long but through our guardian angels. Even, I mean, my relationship is, <laughs> is so constant and all the time, it's just like, it's this flow back and forth of, of me talking to, to him and him talking to me and um, just joking around and he'll tell he'll stop me from stepping in some cat vomit that's on the floor or if I don't know what to eat he'll show me food that I that is just the perfect thing for me to eat if I'm confused about what I should do he lays out options or just pushes me in a direction like it's always it's just such a beautiful relationship there's nobody on the planet that knows and understands and is with you more than your immediate guardian angel and just for the record we have our immediate guardian angel we have miracle angels and healing angels that are connected to us but they're not like right right with us all the time they're they're they kind of keep the perimeter is really more the way that it that it always looks to me it's like my guardian angels literally like right right here and then my other two my miracle my healing angel they kind of just hang out in the in the perimeter you know they come in when i'm doing healings and doing healing on myself and when i'm um and the my miracle angel is uh really the the way that I, I can tap into uh, the, the magic of Gaia, the magic of the universe and, and really, oh gosh, it's like your miracle angel really does perform miracles for you. I don't know how else to put it. And, and so they're not always working on miracles for you but they are filtering in information and divine information and sending that to you um to help you manifest and and build miracles in your own life so or and they're also there in times of you know need when miracles really do need to happen and so they're de definitely there for that so anyhow the theme and the the theme for the stargate the theme for the month is balance creativity connection and especially connection with your angelics your guardian angel your um your well, of course, the archangels, the dragons, and dragons are of angelic origin. The archangels created the dragons um, because of the nature of, of what they could be is so much different than regular angels and archangels. So um, this is why people are, are so divinely connected to, to dragons. And unfortunately, a lot of the stories about dragons are very um false <laughs> dragons are anything but violent or destructive they help and work with gaia and the archangels it's like if there's an archangel there's a dragon if there's a dragon there's an archangel or more um there's typically um at least one to one or two dragons to an archangel at any given time um working with gaia working with the elements working with the fae working with the galactics working with us humans who are connected as well of course and so um the way that the way that we can help ourselves is by really tapping into those who are working um on the other side of the veil to help us to help Gaia so by being very intentional about connecting to just your personal guardian angel and your healing angel and your miracle angel but especially your your guardian angel um 
it, it will help everything else in your life. It just will. And and so that's why I like to say, say good morning and say good night and talk to your guardian angel throughout the day. And you don't have to you like open your mouth and talk. You can just mentally talk, telepathically talk. Open up that channel and I highly suggest that you do the meditation on my podcast or my YouTube. It is for, um, I'm going to repackage and repost. But for now, um, these meditations are from February. It, it was posted on the 14th of February and it is body love. So it's connecting to your body loving your body and meeting your guardian angel. And if you already feel like you have a relationship with your guardian angel, you can still do this meditation because it is about coming together and sharing space and feeling into that energy. It's a beautiful meditation. And again, just like all of my meditations, I did not design it. I just showed up and I channeled it and it was absolutely amazing. By the way, I am going to be doing more, um, many more meditations coming up in the near future. So look out for that. Um, but anyway, so I would highly suggest that you check out that meditation. Um, it's not a very long one. I think it's like maybe a half hour or something like that. Um, and it's for anybody. You don't have to be an advanced meditator to do any of my meditations. Um, they're very uh, clearing and healing and connecting and they really are channeled guided astral meditations. We really do um, uh, tap into the multiverse and the different dimensions and we go to high places and of course like i said we're typically and always guided by gaia herself she is um the master of our domain here this is her, this is her body we live on we're her children and she came to me years ago and said we're gonna help people together you're gonna i'm gonna help you heal people i'm gonna i'm gonna be there with you um and i had no idea what she meant but years later that means channeling her through meditations and working with her in every single one of my my healings that i do and um and she is so amazingly loving and beautiful and giving and wise <laughs> holy moly and knows exactly what we need to know and to hear and to feel and to where to go whether that's in a general meditation or a one-on-one -on -one or a healing um you know what can i say she's the shit she's just amazing i mean yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, so yes, please, please, please do all that you can to connect more with your, with your guides and guardians. If that is, if you feel really close to Jesus, great. If it's your mother that crossed over that you feel like very close to and talking to, great. Anybody from your spirit tribe, any ascended master, any deity, any any archangel, any angelic, but again, to build a strong foundation relationship, um, back and forth communication with your guardian angel is so important, so important. So what I implore you to do is to challenge yourself to um, connect with your guardian angel um, every single day to talk to them, do that meditation and uh, build a relationship with them. And then again, uh, the other thing was was balancing out the divine masculine, divine feminine energies within us. And really a great way to do that is to be creational. And that was another thing that came up a lot with the information that I got um, in the pre-show and uh, just over these last couple days. Of course, that's always a thing. It's always a thing to be creational, but... Um, and to balance out your energies to be in union that was a big thing with the union card was uh about cr uh, creating and being in balance and balancing out the divine masculine and divine feminine energies and again to do that 
being creative is just a really good way to to do that and if you can think of children of little ones toddlers you know children that barely know what their gender is if you ask you know maybe they know that they're a boy just because they've been told but they have no idea what it means you know little little ones and you see them creating painting building doing the things that children do which is creating 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 they're coming from a very balanced state of being with their energy um and they they just create and so it's a really good lesson to pay attention to is and to um think about better stronger how a healthier relationship with your inner child oh that reminds me of another meditation that i did in february healing the inner child and integrating the inner child's a beautiful meditation of going through your life and clearing out energies and then literally integrating the inner child your your little boy your little girl integrating that energy with you so you're the caretaker so you're the responsible adult parent to your inner child and and it's a it's again a beautiful meditation i highly 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 recommend it it will get you um into a very um sweet energy and tap you in with that very pure creational energy big time <laughs> Big time. Okay, so um, so that's basically it with the energies for April. We want to think about the divine feminine, divine masculine. We want to think about creational energies. Most importantly, we want to think about connecting with our angelics, with our guardian angel, most especially archangels, dragons, etc., etc., um, on a daily basis. And I may sometime here in this month put um, do like a three or a five day challenge um, of a daily meditation kind of challenge I'm working on that so we'll see but um, I will be putting out more meditations this month um, I'm just getting a lot of things um, organized so um, so but for yourself taking time to um, even if it's five or ten minutes every single day it doesn't have to be five hours a day but if you could sit in your in your space in your home if it's your bedroom or your living room or wherever in your home and just sit there and connect and feel the energy of your home um feel the energy of your of your guides and your guardians with you it just takes a little bit of time just go oh yeah you're here awesome and just feel that energy you know like that sort of thing um that that will do a lot of good and then do the same thing outside go outside connect with nature feel the fresh air feel the sun feel the wind feel the earth sit in a comfortable place just for a few minutes listen don't listen to music just listen to nature and connect those those just four simple things morning and night good morning to your guardian angel good night to your guardian angel do a little review talk about what you want to do that day or ask what you should do that day or talk about what happened that day and then um five minutes connecting in your space five minutes outside this is aside from any other meditations this is just anchoring in with you and your guides and guardians and with Gaia every day okay so what we're gonna do now is get into the um the dragon oracle here the oracle of the dragon fae I should say to get we're gonna get one card for our message just extending so Standing here in our messages and then after we're done here we will get into the meditation um oh and while i'm shuffling here i do want to let you know that coming up here in the near future i will be doing lives um live terran oracle live um actually energy portraits uh where i'll connect with you and we i will uh paint you an energy portrait 
Um, and I'm, it's also going to be call in so I can talk to you on the show. And um, also I'm going to be doing like an advice, an advice show as well. So you can call in with your uh, questions. Um, so I'm going to be having a few things coming up. So uh, I, I'm very excited. Just setting things up is is just one of those things that takes a little bit of time, but I have new things in the works coming up. So I hope that you will join me on that and share that with other people who may be um, into that as well. Okay. Dear Dragon Fae, please give us a card. Give us information here of what we need for the general light body collective for, oh, there it is, for April 2021. Ah, uh, the Lady Alfreda. Justice will prevail. Oh, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Okay, the Lady Alfreda. So, let's get into this. It is card number 13. Uh, so that's interesting. So we have card number 13, the Lady Alfreda, um, here from the Dragon Fate Oracle, and also this Union card, also 13, which is four. We're going into our fourth month. So that's being pointed out to me again, just like it was when I got the Union card. Okie dokie. And guess what? These little letters are too, too little. And I need, whoops, that was me. Where's my volume? I need some more light. Okay, here we go. Uh, card number 13, the Lady Alfreda. Justice will prevail. And she speaks. N know you this, that whatsoever you send out, you attract back to the power of three. Intent has energy. So do thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And once released, this vibrational thought field radiates out and attracts back to you that which is sent out. This is the law of the threefold return, an ancient law that the wise ones have known of for many a year, though many of the humans have refused to listen to its wisdom. So if you cry out at injustice and if you are in pain, you must clear the reasons these manifestations of the law were brought to you, were drawn to you, by you. As you think, so you will live. As you do, others will do unto you. This is the magical law. Do not be afraid of this truth. See it as a source of freedom. There is no blame in this karmic truth for all that you send out will return. There is no other place for it to go. Your own underworld initiation is ending soon and the dark will soon come to be put Sorry, and the dark will soon come to be but a place full of rest, release, wisdom, and deep ancient knowledge. The law is the law, and the lady's law is love unto all. Follow this, and the threefold return will work its magics. Do you not know the truth? Your own underworld is not hell, but your dark time is the cauldron of your experience, your growth, your understanding, your knowledge. Now you have the knowledge of the law. Now that you have the knowledge of the law, will you work with it? Knowing it to be the truth. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. So this is about manifestation. This is about uh maintaining and managing your thoughts actions emotions and frequency this is about being mindful of what you project out into the world and how and why you you have the reality that you do why you experience what you do what's what's going on in your world and a lot of people like she says here a lot of people just refuse to understand that they they don't see 
the connections because things sometimes take a beat, take a minute to come back to have that reaction. Sometimes things are pretty instant, which I think is, is kind of cool. <laughs> but sometimes things take a while and it can be a little bit kind of fuzzy around the edges to see things but again like I t like we talked about before if you're if you're coming from a place of connect being connected to your soul your guardian angel your your spirit guides who how, how and whomever the way that you see that um, the more that you are in that lane with them, the the more or the easier it'll be to maintain your frequency, to master your frequency, to not what I say, um, how I see it is we're on a surfboard on a wave and the waves are constantly, you know, moving and shifting just like they do in the ocean. And your ability to stay on that board to not be pushed off to not get thrown around to not be you know get all messed up or to get upset or anything like that really is um, a direct reflection of your foundation of how wide and how big that surfboard is that you can you can maneuver and stand on and really ride that wave without it really um, shaking you up too much and if it does a little bit you can adjust quickly so that is a really that's a really big thing and and I think because we're coming into a time here with with April the way that I see this is just it's going to it is going to be quicker in like what we put out what we get back kind of thing and so and especially through the Stargate Stargates are very much um designed to make create dissolve and solidify timelines and so things move quicker um energies are within us and around us are more potent and um more um um i i char they're just they have a, a greater charge to them and so things tend to just be heavier, weighted more during a Stargate. It's like getting on a spaceship and power thrusting through space very quickly. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with what a Stargate is, please see my video um, about Stargates. I will put the, the link in this description um, so you could take a look at that. Um, I highly, highly recommend learning and understanding more about stargates um, because they're very important to our progress to our to our world to what goes on uh, because it like i said it really sets up our timelines it really accentuates and forces choices on our part and that is what life is all about just uh, one choice after another after another after another from the time where we little ones were making choices um, and um, from big to little and everything in between it's all about choices and in a stargate um, timeline formation or dissolution or destruction or creation is about our choices so if we say we make um, a choice to we're gonna go on a on a vacation then we start going down and mapping out our vacation and those are timelines that we're creating if we say we're moving those are timelines we're, we're creating if we're um breaking up or getting together with somebody those are timelines we're creating if you know these are all choices that we're making all of the time even you saying oh we're going to go to the mall on friday or saturday and what happens and transpires on those days those are timelines that are being created making plans going through um going through plans or or changing plans or however you want to say that plans are choices and the energy attached to the plans are choices and the timelines attached to those are branches of choices and on and on and our our stargates are designed to help us structure and create our world with timelines with choices so in a in a stargate everything is kind of heightened and the and the the volume the intensity the heat is kind of turned up more so we're forced to make choices so our next week Weeks and months are being um, developed and and molded by us uh, individually within our group that we're that we work within at any given time and then um, uh, on a collective level 
not only in this world, but the worlds beyond. And when we go there, we don't really necessarily know about it, but trust me, it's all connected. Okay, I'm going to read a little bit more here um, with Alfreda. Um, so about her, the Lady Alfreda is a dragon fae being of wise counsel. She is sister to Mesaline, and as such, she understands uh, emotions and water as energy emotions and water as energy but her being is about the law understanding the law and reminding us all that the process of natural law has its place in all our lives throughout all our lifetimes she brings justice and is a justice maker this card's appearance in your life means that soon the karmic ramifications of actions and thoughts emotions and words will be felt by all do not fear. Know that this draws one phase to a final close at last. Oh, yeah. I get, I'm feeling that like worlds colliding things again. It's like the, the everything that, that we did individually and as a collective up till now, up to 4 one 2021 is about the collective choices and the new paradigm that's being um, brought into existence the worlds collide the blending together the unification um that the, what i love that what she says here the ramifications of actions and thoughts emotions and words will be felt by all so again um i think she's really speaking she's speaking to the whole month she's showing me but she's definitely pointing to the timeline i mean to the stargate and the t and what's going to be going on in the stargate so please pay attention to that um um pay attention to from f from the midnight on 4 4 through the 14th what goes on in the collective usually there's revelations there's announcements there's changes there's revolutions there's unif there's unifying forces there's um all sorts of stuff last month it was the or was it in february time flies it was that whole um stock market thing <laughs> that was a huge thing that was a tight that was a stargate event um so we'll see what happens here for for april but there's definitely going to be things on a global scale on an individual scale and for those of us that are really tapped in with the cosmic happenings with gaia with um really working with energies and writing those waves with our eyes open and really you know paying attention will um, be able to have a, a an easier time of it because we know really what's going on and for those of you i'm hearing like people might be going oh is this like a 5d thing this is just a high like however we want to to distinguish dimensions it's just a really kind of funny thing for people to to try to do it's just about raising your vibration raising the collective vibration of of the world and as we move forward in, in with the stargate um we're naturally tapping into higher dimensions through our guidance so it's really up to you wh where you go at any given time um it's rare that i work in the channeled guided astral meditations that I do that anybody from Archangel Michael to Gaia to Merlin to any of them say we're in the ninth dimension we're in, they never like this is elevator stopping on floor this because it's so abstract it's like it's 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 a detail that doesn't even matter it's like really it's like it, it really doesn't matter so so it, really when we talk about 3d 4d 5d all these things it's just really about raising our vibration raising our consciousness and being able to tap into higher realms and dimensions what they're actually labeled at and called is a human thing honestly um the collective the high council they don't work in in those terms to be honest with you okay and divinatory meanings with this card the 13th card the lady alfreda is it is time to get real and own what you have previously blamed on others this does not mean blaming yourself instead work on shifting your own karmic residue dragon fair wonderful at this and understanding the connections between what you have sent out and what you have created issues of law justice and karma fearful thoughts around what you see to be 
the darkness or black magic, not understanding just how the natural law works. Thus, this card asks you to look to your own intent, clear your space, work with your own dark times to understand the lessons, make friends with your shadow, and thank it for the lessons. And working with the Lady Alfreda. Make decisions, act in integrity, and keep your word. Be honest and upfront and expect that from others. You do not need to play games or be deceived anymore. If someone has not acted with integrity, know, know that you do not need to act. As the natural law of this lady of the Dragon Fae will take over and justice will be realized in due course. Your role is to act with honor nobility and truth and keep to that course take action regarding matters that must be put to rights justice will prevail oh i love this message so much yeah don't if there's people situations experiences traumas and stuff that you are hurt by or you've been hurt by that still you know you think about these things and it creates an energy that in you that's angry mad upset judgmental feels sh shame or or um, even guilt or any of that associated to other people this is your energy um, the advice is to cut cords so if you're not familiar with that please check out my website I have an ebook called the importance of cord cutting along with companion meditations that will guide you through cord cutting um, that will help you with that because a lot of times we are energetically connected to people and it's really difficult for us to successfully move on when these cords are connected and even if we've moved past things even if we're not upset about things anymore maybe the people that other people that are connected to it have those energies and just because we're connected to them and they're connected to it in a negative way it uh the the spray of that wave will hit us and cause us issues so that's something to consider um what else was there? Uh, oh, and and also just to let go of the need to, you know, be vengeful or have revenge or want to do want people to feel what you felt or, you know, any of that kind of stuff. Um, the energy coming through for this month is really work on your own building, your own structure, your own um wellness within your own physical body and the world around you don't worry about somebody else's machine so it's like it, in a in a car race in a professional car race each team and each driver are concerned with their car yeah they want to know what's going on with other people but they're building and working on their car what happens with other people is what's happening with other people in their cars they cannot control that they control their driver their car their team their engine their bo the body the weight of things and everything else that goes into that so they can do their race and know that they've done all that they can do within the parameters of their world to do to go as far as fast as possible and hopefully win the race so what everybody else is doing what is what what need what their timelines are what that's connected to with everybody else in the race really is beside the point unless everybody else that you're thinking of is in direct you know in that team with you that it really you know needs to affect you otherwise um, it's more of an observational thing instead of a judgmental thing. Don't worry about, you know, Sue Ann or, or, or John or whomever that is, you know, had something with you or was very rude or unfair or mean or whatever the case is because, um, the your attachment to it and for them to get theirs in some way is only attaching you to that negative energy and what does she say in the beginning here alfreda says whatever you feel whatever your emotions are whatever you send out wherever it is your station that you build upon is what will come back to you so if you're sitting there thinking all these negative thoughts about somebody and you're angry and you're projecting all this shit 
then it's going to boomerang back to you in different in a lot of different ways because that the energy needs to to go somewhere and it's going to go back to its originator you and how is it going to do that three times the law is three times what you send out so if you think about sending out um feelings of love and blessings and trust and faith and connection and unity three times that energy is going to come back to you so do that to send out love to put to to have that energy go out into the world and just let it l sit and fall where it may let let everybody else's guides and guardians pick up whatever beautiful energy that you're sending out that can help whomever and then let it go ah <sighs> so lovely okay um and again, the lastly, lastly, just know justice will prevail. If, if you have something going on and it's about justice, know that things will be put in a certain order for the, for the good of everybody in this life and everybody in every other life. Um, act from a place of integrity. Be honest about your part in things. Um, don't come from a place of vengeance and revenge about things. Um, sometimes it's, it's so much better for everybody involved to to seek out love and forgiveness and letting go and moving on than it is to hold on to hurts and pains and angers because we were we need to get some type of there needs to be a balancing and we need to control it um, because that's an illusion <laughs> I mean unless you really um, you know, people that get so far um, wrapped up into those energies are people who commit, you know, horrible acts of violence and stuff because they're so overwhelmed with the need to to act out the feelings that are inside of them of being wronged or needing to to project out um, wrongs that have been done to them. So we want to be as far away from that type of energy. And that's not to say that we don't honor um, lower vibrational feelings and emotions because we must. We're human. It's necessary. But we need to honor those feelings and then see where they get placed. See where, pull the string on what else they're attached to. Follow that as far in as you possibly can. Find the knot of what it's all attached to and start to unravel that. That's energy. That's healing. And sometimes you can do that all by yourself. And sometimes it's good to have help. And so just go with your guidance go with like i said your um your guardian angel will lead you in the direction that you, for you to get help however you need it whether it's another person in in this life or it's on the other side or it's through a dream or it's in a book or a video or um or whatever know that you will be guided if you do, if you open up to that guidance It'll happen just naturally because you want it to. And everybody in your spirit tribe is there for you because you're you're the you're the warrior on the ground. You're you're the one who is doing the work. You're the one in a body. You're the one suited up in a human body for your your soul mission. So your guides are just like mission control, wanting to give you the best information to help you and everybody else um, fulfill your mission as easily as possible with as much love and guidance as possible. All you need to do is tune in and follow the direction. That's it. It's pretty simple. <laughs> At least it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay so with that said i want to thank you so much for um being here and getting these messages for this um energy update for april 2021 please leave your messages or your questions in the comments um again check out my website we're going to take a little break here we're going to come back and do the meditation in just a minute so um you could pause this video turn off your lights grab your crystals um I'm, i have frequency music on but you can go ahead and put on your own um find a nice comfortable space for you to be in we're going to be doing this in the seated position and we'll be right back